Now, you're known as the wedding doctor. I mean, how did you get that title? That came about when I was doing a lot of my local radio shows and I do little phone-ins and Anne Diamond said to me one day, well, you're really the wedding doctor, aren't you? And it kind of stuck and I quite like it. I like the fact, the fact that I'm sort of a wedding agony aunt. So, uh, yeah, I go with it. Now, planning a wedding, and I know, is so stressful. Yes. Where do you start? I have a thing that I call the big five. And it's very, very tempting when you first get engaged to start getting carried away with all the details of the day, what flowers you're going to have and what the room's going to look like, what favours you're going to get on the table. And I just say, stop, just stop right there, because you've got to do five things, which is you've got to decide how you're going to get married. Is that going to be a religious or a civil ceremony? Where you're going to get married? And by that, I mean just a rough geographical location. You know, will it be near where you live, where one of your parents live, abroad? When, and again, not the date, but approximately when do you want to get married? Do you want to get married at Christmas time? Do you want to get married in high summer, Easter? Do you think you might be on a tight budget and maybe you ought to think about a quieter time of year? So just a rough idea of when. Who, by that I mean who do you want there? And this is the people you really, really want there. And then the million dollar question, how much money can you spend? What tends to cause the most arguments? I always say that planning a wedding, whether I'm planning it for you or whether you're the couple planning the wedding, it's all about expectations. And weddings are hugely important days to lots and lots of people. Mm. It's not just you as a couple, and it is your day primarily, but it's a day that also belongs to key members of your family, your parents, your siblings, possibly your children. And what happens is you've got all these people with an expectation of how this day and how this event is going to be. And the reason wedding planning becomes stressful is mainly to do with not ironing out all the expectations very early on. And it's really important that you sit down and you listen to each other. Even if you reject the ideas, people just want to be heard. Yeah, and so that's a good really point. So you need to compromise, but you, you need do. to hear each other. Yeah. You do. And fast forward 25, 30 years, actually probably 33, because the average bride in this country is 33 years old. Right. The average groom is 36. So fast forward 34 years, your daughter's getting married, and she says to you, oh, your sister's children can't come. That would be devastating to you. Mm. And that is why these arguments occur. So think about who's important to you and what's important to them. So if you had to give one definitive piece of information to transform a wedding, to make it just perfect, it would be that, really? It, it, it would be to remember that a wedding day is a day where we affirm the concept of family before family and friends, people who brought you to this point in your life, people who want to see this commitment succeed. And that's what the day's about. And remember that all through this planning.